Okay, today we're going to work on 4.2-1, the first drawing. Come up here in Inventor, load Inventor, click on New, Standard IPT, hit Create. Brings up a new area, go to Start 2D Sketch, click the XY plane. From there it's going to start with our drawing. We're going to draw this image over here. I like to kind of draw this front image around with the line tool and then I extrude it back. So I'm going to start down in this corner. Start at the origin. I'm going to start coming up. Wait till my thing's at 90 degrees and I'm going to click and type in 1.5 for the distance. I'm going to scroll with the mouse roller, push down the button and pan over. And I'm going to come over for the one inch portion. One inch over. 90, come up an inch, type in one, hit enter, now we're going to come over two inches, type in two, hit enter, we're going to come down one, type in one, hit enter, we're going to push down the mouse roller wheels, pan over a little bit further, we're going to come over one inch, Type in one, hit enter. We're going to come down an inch and a half. So right here, we're here. We're going to come down that way. Type in 1.5, hit enter. We're going to come over half an inch. 0.5, enter. We're going to come up half an inch. 0.5, hit enter. We're going to come over. That's four inches, that's half inch, that's half an inch, so that's three inches. We're going to come over three inches. I like to get my one thing on 90 degrees, the lower aspect, and the upper one I type in. But you can also hit three for the top portion. Hit tab, and it'll go to your 90. You can type in 90. Hit tab back and forth. Whenever you're ready, hit enter. It'll draw your line. I'm going to come down one inch. One enter. And then we'll go back to my origin. Oh, Nelly. That was incorrect. I'm going to back out of that line. I'm going to start my line tool again. I'm going to start from that last point. I'm going to come down, but I'm only going to come down 0.5 inches. 0.5, enter. And then I come back to the front. Click on it. I'm going to right click. You'll notice up here I'm still in the line tool. Right click, hit OK. It gets me out of it. So now I'm going to finish that sketch. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to extrude it out. And I'm going to extrude it two and a half inches. Type in 2.5, hit enter. So now I have the first portion. Now I'm going to draw this little box. One and a half inches wide, 0.25 high. So I'm going to grab this face. I'm going to hit start new sketch. I'm going to pan it down. Grab the rectangular box. So I want 1.5 inches. Tab, 0.25. Enter, and it draws my box. Right click, because I'm still in a rectangle. Click OK. From there, I know that I'm 0.5 inches to the edge, so I'm going to grab my dimension tool up here, grab my left line, and come over to this line. Gives me point. Click on it. If it doesn't let you edit, click it again, and it'll let you edit, 0.5. And also know it's 0.75 from the top of that ledge. So I still have my dimension tool, go to this line, Go to that line. If it doesn't give it to you, click the uh, upper line again, 0.75. I just put it right in there. 0.75. Therefore, it determines where that place is going to be. Right click, come to a dimension tool, hit OK. I'm going to finish my sketch. From there, I'm going to extrude that little section out. I'm going to click on the area. And we see that it extruded out 0 0.75. 0 0.75, enter. And there is now your part. That's all you need for 4.2, the first one. File, save, and you're good to go.